All right, guys. The mall. <clears throat> there was a mall. The uh, second mall has been ransacked. Some say this was in Topanga. Some say this was in Los Angeles. I don't know, but this is the title, guys. Democrat run in Los Angeles to receive the second mall ransacking in a week. Let's check it out. Yeah, I did see this on TikTok earlier. Apparently, $100,000 worth of goods were stolen. But just check it out, guys. Like... Bro, that, that purse is like tied to the metal thingy, bro. He's still dragging the metal thing. Looks like he dropped it down at that point, guys, because it's it was uh, just tied tied to uh, tightly on there, guys. But now, Mr. Mall at Topanga. Oh, it is in Los Angeles. I thought Topanga was a um a, a city, guys. Completely, bro. They went in with one mindset, bro, just to take everything they could see. I mean, they all, that's how stores are designed, right? They, they leave it for, you know, them to pick it up and buy it, but, uh, you know, thieves see the opportunity and they capitalize, you know what I mean? It's a huge loss for the store, guys. 30 people wearing all black. Stealing many items around 4 p.m. This place literally got, you know, bamboozled, bro. They're, the, the amount that was stolen is like five years worth of salary, which is wild in and of itself, man. That worker's like, yo, what do I even do here, bro? Like, I would not try to stop a thief, man. Like, like I, I don't want to risk my job. Like, but it shows racks of clothes thrown on the floor, glass shattered everywhere, and an alarm going off. Dang, bro. What kind of glass do they shatter, man? So they're just saying, screw it. Why, why break in at night when there's not many customers around? And you know what I mean? Like, Police will be more busy during the day, and uh, you know, <laughs> it's sixty thousand to a hundred K, man. That's so much money, man. The mall wasn't evacuated. And the business goes on as usual after that. That might be like one day of profit for them, guys. Not gonna lie. Those who live in the area and patronize the mall, it is loss of feeling safe. They exhaust all efforts to bring these responsible and seek custody, I mean, uh, criminal prosecution. Guys, a huge loss for them, bro. Aaron Bass, the new mayor, says, What happened today at the Nordstrom is. In the Topanga Mall is absolutely unacceptable. The Los Angeles Police Department will continue to work not only to find those responsible for the incident, but to prevent these attacks from on retailers from happening in the future. I mean, what could do it though, bro? Like, it's gonna be pretty hard. The only thing I could think of is like, you know, getting the employees to like unlock or like get every every single item out of the store. Or, like, unlock it, bro. Like, you know, if somebody wants to purchase it. Is that going to be the future, guys? Because this is happening quite often nowadays.
quite often. Second to second incident when a group stole uh, armfuls of designer handbags. They're probably gonna have to, you know, sell it on the on the market or something, guys. Like I don't know. All the merchandise was taken less than a minute. Oh my gosh! Wait, three hundred thousand dollars worth of luxury goods. So much money, bro. The prices they charge on this is so much, bro. Like, what is it? Designer, bro. I, I, I haven't bought a single piece of clothing for myself ever, bro. Me 21 and 2022 violent crime in California rose by 6.1. Oh my gosh. This could have, have have to do with like the population increase in general, but it's not a good thing that this is rising. Ne never is it a good thing, guys. But robberies increasing as well. I was robbed when I was homeless. All all I had was a uh, you know paraphernalia on you on me. That's all they took from me, bro. Property crimes also increased by five point three percent. Oh my gosh. Crime rose by eleven percent. It's the highest since twenty ten, guys. Wow. That's a video. They legalize crime. What do they expect? Now they won't teach you to fish, but they sure know how to hand them out. I don't get it. What happens when you don't like about coming to see it? Don't stay away. You're easy targets. Same group as always. Stay away from this group. So what happens when you defund the police? Most peaceful. Mostly peaceful shop. I'm not. I'm not trying to read the racist comments, guys. Yo. Apologize for reading one. They're they're mostly peaceful maniacs. I'm Superman. Welcome to socialist America. Well, if we had universal basic income, things like this wouldn't happen. Alright guys, that's a video. I apologize for reading one of the racist comments, and I'll see you guys next one. Like, comment, subscribe, I do all my reactions live on Twitch, and I'll see you guys next time.